이번에 나온 유명 인사는 이 사람은 She recently started a trend of shopping for children in third world countries, which gained her enormous publicity. She could have adopted one of the millions of poor black children in America who have no home. But that would not have gotten her the attention she so desperately craves. Mr. Tiger, Tiger Woods, an athlete who has made millions of dollars from his image as an honest, dependable family man. Even though the greedy golfer was also having sex with over a dozen waitresses, porn stars, and C-grade models at the same time. This is B-grade actor Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Seen here with his wife when he was re-elected as governor of California. Unlike the other B-grade actor who served as governor of California, this actor won't be president because he fathered a child with the family maid in their marital bed. These two actors are very big celebrities. Their names are Brad and Angelina, and their brand is Brangelina. They also shop for children in third world countries. Like other celebrities, they constantly complain about the media attention they get, even though they have entire teams of propagandists who alert the media each time they go shopping for children or purchase a coffee wearing the latest designer clothes. The truth is that celebrities like these are merely collaborators. For example, despite the fact that tobacco in the West is laced with more than 2,000 deadly chemicals designed to addict and kill humans, celebrities frequently appear in magazines, movies and fashion shoots smoking cigarettes. Big Tobacco pays these trained monkey collaborators of death enormous amounts to smoke and glamorize their product, knowing that the youth want to be celebrities too. Nicole, don't do that, you promised. Sometimes, celebrity exacts a terrible toll on the human brain, leading to confusion and misery. This poor man is Mr. Michael Jackson, a very famous musician who recently died from a drug overdose. Let's look at what America did to this man. His ancestors were raped from Africa and brought to America as slaves, and his childhood was spent working and performing for a violent father who colluded with record companies to profit from his talents. So much pain at the hand of capitalism leads to an identity crisis. These disturbing images are not film trickery, but the result of a practice known as plastic surgery. In surveys, 9 out of 10 women in the West are unhappy with their appearance which drives them to spend enormous amounts of money buying cosmetics, clothes and plastic surgery. Despite the fact that they will never become celebrities, all look like the models in the advertisements. This is consumerism. Many of the biggest celebrities have no talent at all. This very famous woman is called Miss Katie Price. Her brand name is Jordan. And despite my research, it seems clear that she doesn't actually do anything. This is Miss Paris Hilton. This narcissistic parasite comes from a wealthy hotel family. She glorifies her opulent lifestyle without guilt and is said to charge $150,000 to appear at parties. She even has a TV program called My New Best Friend Forever, where people compete to be her new best friend. Proof that anything in the West can be reproduced and commodified for profit. This is part of a trend in the West for what is called reality television. 
a type of freak show programming about talentless narcissists who like to talk about themselves and go shopping. In the field of American reality TV, competition is fierce for the most grotesque example of such exploitation. There are shows like The Swan, where women who are deemed ugly enter a plastic surgery competition to see who can be turned into the most beautiful. She's just very masculine, face, body, basically everywhere. So we really need to change her body with a lot of liposuction, breast augmentation. We really need to feminize her face by doing a brow lift, rhinoplasty, take the fat of her cheeks and her chin. She really deserves to be in this program. Oh, Without a doubt. This one is called My Super Sweet 16, where children have tens of thousands of dollars spent on them simply because they are turning 16. They are treated like celebrities, despite the fact that they have achieved nothing and are out of touch with reality. And if you're ready? But this is nothing compared to a reality series called The Bachelor, where a handsome, wealthy young man declares his commitment to picking a wife from a bevy of 16 potential brides. His sincerity in talking to each woman is chilling, as are their claims to love him. After sampling all of the potential brides, he decides who to marry turning the most personal of decisions into a commodity, an experience to be manipulated, packaged and sold worldwide. Distraction techniques like television and celebrity magazines are the propagandists' best tools for keeping people from thinking and talking about important issues. Now, they have another. The games industry now generates more money than the film industry and has cemented the West as a culture of death, violence and destruction. This is Grand Theft Auto 4. Here, you can kill anything that moves and have sex with prostitutes. This game appeals so much to people, it sold half a billion dollars worth of units in its first week of sale. Because gaming and animation desensitizes violence and death, much of the billions in military spending goes into recruiting young, poor and uneducated people to fight their Fortune 500 wars using these same techniques. Most serve one weekend a month and two weeks a year. Come on, fire! Hey, Roger. Thank you. Come on, let us shoot! 1-8, okay. Clear. Come on! This game is based on something called WWE, which stands for World Wrestling Entertainment. Extreme violence cheered on by Americans baying for blood. They know the names of each one of these actors, and yet they don't know where Britain is on the map, despite the efforts of the British to be their best friends. 85% of American young adults can't find Israel, Iraq or Afghanistan on a world map. 30% of them can't find the Pacific Ocean on the map. 75% of them don't know the population of the U.S. and 11% of them can't even find it on a map. This is ideal, of course. Keep the masses ignorant and pacified on the couch. Distract them with violence, death and the illusions of celebrity. 
Reduce resistance in thought. Make them choose the bland over the brilliant. The meaningless over the thoughtful. And dazzle them with trash. This is now what people around the world accept as normal. This manufactured reality has become more real than this. 38 million homeless Americans. But the media doesn't want people to know about these Americans. Not unless they can be used for entertainment. You want to be on top? Meet Miss Tyra Banks, a former clothes model who now has a talk show where she pretends to be concerned about people's problems and society in general, even though she has no qualifications to do this. And so, here, she dresses up and pretends to be homeless in order to experience life on the streets, which is impossible because she owns numerous homes and great wealth. And in the end, the audience doesn't question this charade, but instead it willingly feeds into her need to talk about herself. Here we see America's next top model, where everything is covered in her Tyra brand. Everyone has to shout and scream and appear delighted at the mere mention of her name. In this episode, she has the contestants made up to pose as blood-spattered and mangled corpses. While across the other side of the world, her fellow Americans were shooting, stabbing and blowing up an estimated 1.8 million Iraqi civilians. Like most Americans, she doesn't know or care about these numbers. She is concerned only about a life of style over substance.